And every Friday this month, we've been traveling around the metro area, going from different locations mm -hmm. for our series in your town. And this morning, we're highlighting the city of Duluth. You know what? Sometimes it feels like one place is almost like another country. Yeah, and on the other side of <laughs> the world. On the other side of the world. So this morning, Rebecca Schramm is at Duluth High School uh, to take a look at what the young people there are really up to. And I was already impressed with the student council from earlier. What are you talking about now? Well, you know what? I tell you what, this is the kind of school, it's so big, if there's anything you want to do, you can do it here at Duluth High School. You want to build a robot? No problem. There's one here that shoots t-shirts. Watch this. They're going to shoot. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> These students built that thing, which is, is really amazing. And you know what? I discovered you can even learn how to build machines and robots in class. Take a peek inside Mr. Roy's engineering concepts class and you almost feel the brain power at work. It's really complicated and sometimes it gets really hard. Freshman Kenna Chike Mora was a little intimidated at first, but before long, she and her teammates were building a robot that sorts marble-sized balls based on what they're made of. When you tell the robot, like, when this happens, do this, or when this doesn't happen, do something else. Recycling is the real world problem, and they're trying to basically separate the materials from the recycling truck. I know this is bigger than the wheel. This is Jonathan Roy's sixth year teaching at Duluth High School. It's a uh, basic problem solving class where kids start with uh, the engineering design problem solving process. They learn uh, engineering software. It's powered by the solar panel and the sun hits this uh, panel. As part of the student's performance based final, they create solar powered cars. <laughs> What we're trying to do is go, make it go the furthest distance. Rodolfo Esparza is a junior. He realizes this class could help him fulfill his dream of becoming a mechanical engineer. It is amazing to think about like we could just, this is a class that where you could like just go on and after high school and get a job. Yeah, they really could. And you're back looking live again at Duluth High School. Look at these guys shooting their t-shirt powered robot. It's going to send a t-shirt in the air. Here we go. Let's see who catches it. There it goes. <laughs> hey, pretty cool, right? So yeah, this is just a fun school where you can really do anything your imagination tells you you want to do. It's here at Duluth High School. We're having a blast this morning. Coming up in our next half hour, you're going to hear from a state champion in wrestling. And guess what? It's a female. Oh, How about that? really? Thank you, lady. Oh. Well, that'll be interesting. Yeah, breaking yeah. some boundaries. I love there. that. And you know what's so cool about the robotics <laughs> thing is that it's not only fun, but clearly it's got so many practical applications too in terms of being able to find a job after you get out of school. Yeah, they can, they can, I tell you what, do all kinds of stuff here and the practical applications right. of some of these machines they make, it's mind blowing and they're doing this in high school. Cool. Yeah, Very no good. students know it too. Rebecca, thank you.